Hi guys, Dustin Slade here in Denver. Wanted to make a video talking about on-page optimization. Uh, this is mainly for your blog. This is mainly for a WordPress blog that I'm going to show you the example on. But it doesn't have to be a WordPress blog. You just need to follow the steps uh, that I'm going to show you so that Google will recognize your page. And it's one of the things that Google is using right now to make your page searchable. So let's dive right in here. I'm going to show you my screen. Let's go here. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to Google AdWords tool. And I'm going to give you an example of Ripplin. Ripplin is a new social media app that is out there and is taking the world by storm. And so I did a blog post on how to get an invite. And so Let's just first do a search. We've got um, this button clicked here, only search closely related to my search terms. And um, we've got uh, broad checked as well and exact. And we're going to go ahead and search. And what comes up is only 170 uh, monthly searches for that actual term, which is OK, not great not very many at all to really get that massive following. You need numbers. So, you know, we're going to add to this a little bit here. Um, what it is, it's a social media app. And so let's talk about um, make money with a social media app. And so we'll go ahead and search. And we can take this broad off so it just kind of gets a little bit more refined. And again, we're getting no major searches coming up. We'll do the broad again, see if anything happens different there. No, nothing's happening there. Let's cut this down. Let's do social media app and see what comes up. Got a few keywords coming up here 11 ideas. Um, only 880 monthly searches here. So we could use some of those. We can highlight them and go to, um, let's see, best social media app, social media app, all in one social media app, um, social media app development, um, developer. And then, you know, what we can do is those will be saved. And then let's do one more search term, make money with social media apps. And, and we have over 800 keywords. To find over 800, you may have to uh, sign in to Google AdWords. And sign into the account. If you're not signed in, it'll only give you a hundred keywords to, to work with. That's okay. Um, look at this global monthly searches in the millions. Uh, how to make money. Um, we could choose any number of these. Um, uh, let's do a couple of these. Make money, make money. Make money. Let's make sure we include social media and search. Just not anybody looking for that term right now. So what we can do is just um, remove that, go back to the search. And this is going to be, you know, you're going to have to do some keyword research. The great thing about this, low competition on a lot of this, a lot of searches. So what you're going to do now is choose view as text. You're going to copy these uh, keywords that you chose. And you're going to pull up a notepad, search on this blog. And my keyword was how to get a Ripplin invite. And so I did the research on this. And what this video is going to show you is how to optimize the blog. So inside here, what you want to do is have several things that are important. 
One is the H1 header tag. This is the H1 right here. See how it's uh, a little bit larger text than r the rest. I'm sorry, this is the title here. This isn't, uh, you want to make sure you have your keyword in your title, which I do here. How to get a Ripplin invite. Get a Ripplin invite as my keyword. So in the top here is the H1 header tag. A little bit bigger than the rest of the text. That's called the H1. You want to make sure you have your keyword in there. The next one you want to do is an H2 tag. This is an H2 tag here. You want to make sure you have your keyword how to get a Ripplin invite is mine in the H2 tag. You want to make sure that you have an H3 tag which is down here. This is the smaller one H3 tag. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is what it looks like. You want to have your keyword written in the H1, the H2, the H3 tag. You want to have it written within the article um, about every 100 words. And you want to have it uh, at least 100 words. You want to have the text written in several times. You want to bold the text like this. How to get a written invite. Bold. You want to italicize, italicize the text. It's like this. How to get a Ripplin invite. Italicize. You want to underline the text. How to get a Ripplin invite. Underline. You get the idea. So bold, italic, underline in the text. H1, H2, H3 in the text. And then you want to come down in your um, tags that you do. And you want to make sure that you write your... Um, keyword phrase in the tags here just like this is how to get a Ripplin invite that's one of the things that you want to do so I wrote those in there I had the H1, H2, H3 in there I got the bold italic and underline in the keyword and that's how you start out so let me take you inside a WordPress blog and show you where you do that as you're writing the blog you can have a couple like this green thing that just showed up here is Squirrely, the live SEO assistant. You put in your keyword here and it will test and make sure that you have each one of these things checked off over here. To install that, you have to go into your plugins over here and you have to add a new plugin and it'll take you to the screen to add a new plugin called Squirrely. That's one of the ones I use. I also use uh, the WordPress SEO by Yoast. This, um, what happened? I moved it. Uh, where'd it go? WordPress SEO by Yoast, I like because it will go in and uh, will tell you what you need to do to optimize your page and I'll, I'll go back to that I, I apparently changed the setting there um, by accident and then I also use Vibe SEO um, pack panel and this is the Vibe SEO you put in your keyword here you press the update button and it will go through and tell you if you did all these things in here so we just talked about uh, the title having your keyword we talked about the H1, H2, H3 having the keyword. We talked about the bold, italic, and underlined having the keyword. Um, and we need to have two other things that are important in the post. And so when you put an image in, you always want to have an image in your post. And once you do it in WordPress, you can just click on here, and it will give you the option to uh, put in alternative text. This alternate text is what will come up if someone is uh, blind and they're uh, using a program that reads the text, reads the images. This is the alternate text. So you want to put that in your keyword in there too, how to get a Ripplin invite. And then you can put a link in here too if you'd like to also link that image as well. And then, um, so you want to link an image, a keyword in your image, and then you also want to have a live link inside 
the um, the actual blog that points to somewhere else, and it doesn't. It can be a www address that points to anywhere that is just related um, to your content and pointing to somewhere else. Preferably, you want that link to go to somewhere else, like your blog. Like these are two of the examples, the links that will go out to different websites that are on this blog page. So once you have those things, you have what they call on-page optimization. Um, something like Vibe SEO will tell you whether or not your keyword density is big enough. Like sometimes you'll go through in your article, if you haven't used your keyword enough, then it will tell you your keyword density is too low and it will score you too low in here. You always want to have at least green lights in here and have at least a green score above 80%. So that will give you the basic bare minimum SEO on-page optimization. And let me show you how it works. When you go to a, um, I'll go to a new incognito window as I'm using Google Chrome browser. And I'm going to type in the, the search phrase. Let's just go to Google so you can see it. And I'll type in the search phrase um, that I tried to rank for. How to get a Ripplin invite. And now that I've done the on-page optimization, this was done um, about a week and a half ago. And you can see that it's ranking number one. And I'm not signed in to Google here. It's just ranking number number one on that particular keyword. So you can see that here, and you can also see um, that there are also are videos that will show up, and you can rank for those as well. When people, uh, when you do your on-page optimization, right, and you have videos, you can do. Uh, have your video rank as well. So I'll show you a video on how to uh, how to do an on-page optimization for your video as well. In this example, in just a web search, um, you can see right away, bam, the article I did shows up how to get a Ripplin invite. And it goes right to the blog post that I did that I just showed you that I optimized when I first did it, and now it's up there being searched for, and it's number one on Google. So that is how you do on-page optimization. There is off-page optimization that we need to talk about, and we'll do in another video. But basically, you have to make sure that your basic framework is done in blog, and you at least have the basis for your on-page optimization. So that's how you do that part of it. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. And be sure to uh, like this Google Hangout, like this YouTube uh, page, and uh, look forward to the next video, next training. Um, I'll show you some off-page optimization, and I'll show you how to optimize for a video when you post for a video. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.